Okay, we've got David Kidwell here, the new assistant Kiwis assistant coach. Welcome, David. Um, we've got some questions here from the fans. Uh, a lot of them, uh, a lot of them, remembering your tackle, I guess, on Willie Mason, uh, two thousand six. Can you um, just set the scene? What was the what was the game, and what were the circumstances at the time? Oh, it's a pretty long time ago now for myself. But first of all, thank you for everyone for your questions and. Um, yeah, the Willie Mason tackle, um, something that's obviously etched in my memory. Um, it was a big test match. We'd won a test match in Sydney um, before, uh, the game before. So um, it was something that uh, you do for your brotherhood and your brothers. Um, and i just seen him running the ball and I knew I needed to change the, change the match in some way and, and get my brothers up and... Um, sort of come out of line and you know try to put a shot on him. So um, what I said to him, um, I'm a gentleman and it stays out in the field. So I won't repeat the words that I said to him. But um, yeah, it was definitely a moment um, that I definitely will remember. Was there any history going in before that tackle? Had you and him crossed paths before? Um, I think he got me in a tackle um, when we played them over in England and. I always sort of had in my memory if I could get one sort of back on him, I would. And it just happened to be here in Auckland in front of my family, so that was even better. And um, do your paths cross even today? Is there any sort of uh, um, recognition, I guess, of, of that moment between the two of you? Actually, a couple of days after I seen him, I just remember looking up and thinking, Jesus, he's just pretty big, you know. But um, I just, uh, we've, we've seen each other before, and, you know. It, well, he's a good, good guy off the field, and um, like I said, I do the business on the field, and um, off the field, I'm, I'm a gentleman. David, I guess that you, these days you're uh, better known as a coach, and uh, we've got a few questions pertaining to that. Um, first one is, uh, you know, where do you see your coaching career in the next five years? Yeah, I think um, being where I've been and what I've been through, uh, definitely a head coaching role in the NRL at, at, at some stage. You know, like anything and that people do, uh, it doesn't matter what job description you do, you put in the hard work, you hopefully reap the rewards. So uh, I've been five years coaching now, sort of started with the under 20s and um, worked my way up with as an assistant in Melbourne and now at the West Tigers. So uh, definitely um, a head coaching role within the next five years. You mentioned the under 20s and your former junior Kiwis coach. Uh, what sort of impact do you think our young Kiwi players are making over in the Tasman, across the Tasman? Yeah, I think um, for the junior warriors here in New Zealand, it's been a great impact for our, for our New Zealand country over here. Um, it's great, given rugby league great exposure for for the young generation coming through. Um, the NRL, the, our talent spread out through the out the NRL and um, New Zealand rugby league. As an association, we try to identify as much as we can there. And um, like I said, there's a lot of talent, um, Kiwi talent through the NRL. We just make sure that we capture it and, and make sure that they play for the black and white jersey in the well, future. I guess there's been a bit of talk recently about the future of that under-20 competition. You got any thoughts about where, where it may be going? Yeah, well, obviously there's been good, good signs for young kids, like I said before, with the with the junior warriors here in New Zealand. Um, they are now looking at um, maybe doing another competition. Uh, generally, most um, NRL clubs, they put the young 20s, if they're good enough, through the New South Wales system and then to first grade. So I think that's the, the way that they might be heading um, in future years. But um, whether they um, change the, the age to maybe under 23s, I'm not too sure just to give that young pathway for those um, young players coming through. Do you think that'll affect the opportunities to Kiwi kids getting into the NRL? No, not at all. Um, because of the junior warriors and the New Zealand the system coming through here um, has have set a pathway, so I think that pathway is only going to get stronger. Okay. Uh, and I guess another question we have here is, in terms of your appointment to the Kiwis uh, staff, you know, what do you think you bring to the team as a coach? I think my role will be with the, with the forwards. Um, I, th 
me I, I bring definitely passion uh, when I play. I play with a lot of passion and a lot of pride when we wear that black and white jersey and just, just to make sure that the boys, when they put a black and white jersey on, that they they remember all their family and their friends that they've they played with and they take that onto the field and um, yeah, we're making sure that um, we're playing to the best we can play. And I guess finally, uh, just about your own sort of individual coaching style, um, how easy do you find it to uh, to you know tap into these kids and, and find out what motivates them? You know, I guess a lot of them are shy and, and don't talk a lot. How do you break that down? I'm pretty easy going. Sort of a person, but um, when I need to train, that's when I sort of switch on. Um, I find that the best way in my coaching style to be. I'm sort of nice and relaxed away from footy, but when we time to train, it's time to train, and um, I make known that the boys know that. So, um, so that we're focused when we do train, and away from sort of training, we make sure we enjoy our company. A uh, coach once said to me, you know. We're happy when we train well, you know. So um, generally, we're a very um, shy bunch of people. But um, you know, when we all sort of working towards one, and 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 we build that sort of culture that we have, it makes us stronger on the field. Um, I think I can uh, make sure we're the glue in, in that culture. Mate, thanks for your time, and uh, good luck for the future.